Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another video here at the shop. I want to do a little review today on the uh, Craig Foreman. This is model number uh, DB210. Uh, this is their machine where you can do pocket holes. Just amazing how quick that it works. But I want to run over some of the features, tell you how I use it, uh, let you know if you think it's worth the money or not. I'll show you some of the hidden features on it, show you how easy it is to, to change the bit. But yeah, it's a, it's a great tool, it can be a really big uh, time saver for you. Uh, Craig makes some great stuff. Uh, so sit back, relax, and uh, here we go. Okay, first thing I want to show is uh, how easy it is to open it up. You're supposed to be able to grab right here, open it up. I can never do it with my fingers, so I use a flat blade screwdriver to do that. Just pry it open, very easy. Uh, as you'll see in the cutaway, there's a little kickstand here that comes over, and then you can prop open the top. This allows you to get to the motor, uh, and then this is where you would disassemble this part, pull the motor back out, change the bit, put it back. Very straightforward, there's really no adjusting. All your adjustments are on top when you make the cuts. So very easy to get to this to make all your changes right here. You also have a little storage tray right here. You can keep like a couple of the tools that you need for it, spare bits. Uh, you can keep that stuff in here uh, so it's always readily available and you're not hunting for it uh, all the time. When we come around to the right side of the motor, there's a pin, which you'll see in the cutaway on the screen. When you pull that pin out, that releases a bar here. That's what holds your motor. So at that point, you're able to just slide the motor back. And now you have the motor with your bit here, just slides right off the two rails that are here. Pull this up just like a keyless chuck. Bit comes out. Take your new Craig bit, put it right back in. Drop it back down, it locks in place. Slide it right back on the two guide rails, goes right back in the slot. Pick up the bottom bar, take your pin, put your pin right back in. You just did a bit change, literally 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you were able to change the bit, put it back together. You can lower the kickstand, lower it back, push it down. You've just completed a complete bit change. You're ready to go. Looking underneath the machine, uh, pretty straightforward. You have your small dust collection hose that goes over to the port on the back of the machine. Here's the bar that we removed earlier cold cord which goes back to your control panel your own off switch controls everything your plug then you have your motor your kickstand and this is the little storage tray that you saw from the top part so just a simple machine uh, I think it's very well designed I think if you take care of it you use a little care uh, I cut very slowly I'll do a demonstration cut in a second and I'll show you but I think you should get years of use out of this um, if, if you take care of it and you use care. This is the dust port that comes off the back of it for dust collection. Now obviously, most people have a dust collection system or even a shop vac. There's nothing gonna fit that small little port. Well, I got lucky. I found a Fernco at Home Depot. Uh, it is a, I'm not sure of the size. I'll try to link that in the bottom of my description. Uh, but I think it's like an inch and a quarter up to the two inch for the Rockler uh, quick connection fits. So by using the Fernco there, you're able to slide that right on using a 5 16 on your pipe clamp. Just tighten that down. And now you have your dust collection all set up. You can put your four inch dust collector on there with your quick fit. So that, that worked out really good. It does a great job, remarkably, whenever you cut your pocket holes 
does just a great job of cleaning out everything, gets all the dust rid, and very little dust ever under the machine or anything, so it does a good job. The machine makes uh, extremely clean pocket holes. Obviously a fresh bit always helps. Clean exit holes, so when you put your pieces together, there's nothing driving them apart. You get a nice, smooth finish. Uh, for doing cabinet doors, this thing is just unbelievable how good it is. And I'll have an upcoming video on making a cabinet door. Uh, so that's your dust collection part for the uh, foreman. To use the machine, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you're going to set your fence. So you release these two knobs. And then once they're released, you can slide your fence. Now it has markings here for three-quarter, for half-inch stock, for inch-and-a-half stock. So you have your markings for all that. So you can just slide it to where you want it to go. And then that's where you're going to set your fence for the thickness of your stock. So line it up. And then just lock your tabs back down. So now you're set for the thickness of your stock. So if you're using three-quarter stock, then you're already set up for it. Next thing is go to the right of where the bit would come out. And you're going to want to set this right here. This is a hold down. So what this does is, is when you pull this down, it pushes your stock down flat onto the table. Keeps everything just nice and flush so that when it drills the pocket hole, they're all consistent. So once you get it set and it's holding it down like you want it, just screw this bottom part down and that'll lock it in place and it'll just stay there every time as you pull it down. One of the next parts that you're going to want to do is you got to set the depth of your bit. So whenever you pull the handle down, the bit's going to go up, it's going to make the pocket hole. So you're going to want to set the bit so that when you see it here, it's not digging into your fence, but it's going through the wood so that it creates the exit holes. So you gotta get that bit set properly. The way you do that is by this knob in the back. So loosen the lock knob, and then you can just turn this, and as you're turning it, you can determine where the bit's gonna go. And then you get it set to where you want it, where it's not gonna hit your fence. And once you get it set right here, now you can, you can lock your knob down, and that's going to stay in place. Now that's not going to move, that's going to stay consistent through every cut. Very simple setup there. Uh, very nice how they designed that. Once you have your fence set up, now you're ready to make your cut. I've already done one cut here to show this is inch and a half stock. So we only have a little bit of room to make another hole here. But we've already set our fence to three quarter inch depth uh, for three quarter inch stock. Uh, we have our bit set where we want it and we have our hold down set to the depth that we want it. So on the fence here, there's markings that say edge. So you wanna line the edge of your board up when you're dealing with a small stock like this. So if I line the edge up and then do a pocket hole, I pull it slowly. <laughs> By using the markings, now I have my second pocket hole done. And you can see, very symmetrical, they're right where they need to be to put my rails and styles together. Does just a fantastic job of doing that. Very clean cuts. So there you go. That's the Craig Foreman DB210 pocket hole jig machine. I looked on Amazon last night, I think it's going for $399. I'm not affiliated with anybody, Amazon, Craig, or anybody. I just found this to be a great machine. I thought uh, people would want to know how does it work? Is it worth the money? If you do a lot of doors, if you do a lot of face frames on cabinets and you're making a lot of rail and styles uh, frames, uh, or you're doing a lot of pocket holes for cabinetry, this thing is such a huge time saver. You can literally do 100 pocket holes in you know less than an hour. If you use the small jig and you're just doing one pocket hole or two pocket holes at a time, it can take you all day to keep resetting that little jig, keep clamping it down. Uh, here you can just run your, your stock through. Uh, I wish I would have had some plywood. I would have showed you how to do like a, a side panel for a cabinet. 
very simple. Uh, the bigger panels, I usually have my neighbor come over, he'll hold one side, we keep it balanced up, or you can set up two outfeeds, and then that would support it as well as you slide it through and then just do your pocket holes. Huge time saver. I can't even tell you how much the time saved is. I have went through a couple of bits. We've made a lot of cabinets, uh, did a lot of plywood. We had to do some uh, melamine, which is particle board with the melamine on the outside. That particle board really chews up bits. So you can see how easy and fast it is to change a bit. I usually keep a couple of bits uh, spare in the shop. That way it's very fast to change one, never down in the middle of a job. I think it's worth the $399. Uh, it all depends on what you, you value your time at. I value my time a lot because there's a lot I want to do. Uh, even being a little semi-retired, there's still a lot I want to get to, a lot of things I want to learn, a lot of things I want to do. So I think $399 was a great price point for this. The machine could have been built a little bit sturdier, in my opinion. It does have a plastic body. Uh, has an aluminum top. Your rust is just never going to be a factor with this. It's very easy to lubricate the rails in there where the motor slides back and forth. Power button seems to be very durable. I've not had any issues at all with this machine. It has just been flawless. And I've probably cut well over 2,500, 3,000 pocket holes with this already. I've had it for about a year, a little bit over a year. Uh, I think it's worth the money. I think it's a great machine. Uh, once again, $3.99 on Amazon. This was a very quick review. Uh, it wasn't meant to be all inclusive and show you everything you can do with it. Just wanted to give you an idea of what the machine does. And uh, my opinion that it's just uh, uh, worth the money. Very, very big time saver. I never liked using the little clamps and things. It just was always a pain in the butt. But uh, this is just, I love it. I, I use it a lot. Glad you stopped by and watched the video. I hope you found it informative. Uh, maybe to help you make a decision if you want to get one or not. Uh, please subscribe. If you do, hit that bell to be notified when I post up a new video. Just past 300 subscribers, channel's doing great. I'm, I'm just amazed uh, how well we're doing and getting a lot of really great comments from you guys. Uh, really helps me think about what to do next and what else to show. I'll do some more tool reviews soon. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the wall over here I'd like to talk about. I've got the new Shop Fox uh, 1758 lathe then I'd like to do a review on it. Um, it's not a real fancy lathe, but boy, does it, is it a workhorse. It does a great job. Once again, thanks for stopping by. I uh, appreciate it. You guys have a great day.